Today we're going to build a truck bed toolbox so that my truck bed goes from this to this. I have a 2020 short bed crew cab Chevrolet Colorado and I need to carry stuff in the bed whenever we go traveling. I've been carrying it in a large tub which takes up most of the bed space in this small bed. So I decided to go with a bedside toolbox. I really didn't like the styles that were made and I decided to try my hand at making it myself out of metal. I started by measuring and drawing the bed profile on the top of my table and then I bent the half inch conduit to fit that profile. I used a half inch conduit bender to be able to bend this tubing in the shape that I wanted. The objective here was to make the two bottom bars of one box identical on both sides. Once the tubing was shaped, then I used some more of the tubing to make crossbars. I pop riveted all those together using eighth inch short pop rivets. In order to make the crossbars, I just split a bar on the end of the correct length and then used pliers to spread out the end and flatten it out so that it could be pop riveted to the other bars. Now that I had finished one complete side, it was time to make the other side look exactly like that side. Once the two sides of one box were made, I was ready to go ahead and try to test fit it to make sure everything was gonna fit right in the truck. That's when I found out I didn't like the part in front of the wheel well. It was gonna be too narrow and too deep to be useful to me. So I had to cut the bars off at the top of the wheel well. Next, I created a jig on top of my work table to hold all the bars perpendicular and square to each other so that I could join it all together. Again, using eighth inch pop rivets, I fastened crossbars to each side to join them together. With the frame completed for the toolbox, next came the skin for the outside. I started with the bottom skin of the toolbox first. I used regular hand shears to cut the steel flashing to the correct dimensions to fit on this frame. After the bottom was attached to the frame, then it was time to put on one of the sides. Shaping the curve above the wheel well was going to be a little bit more difficult because it would require the metal to bunch together. So I cut little V's in the metal so that the metal was able to follow the curve above the wheel well. Earlier you saw me use an orange hand riveter to drive rivets in. I've got to tell you, an air riveter is a much nicer tool to use. I used half inch plywood to shape a top for it and I used piano hinges to attach the top to the frame. After it was all assembled, then I used Herculiner bed liner to coat the outside of it so that it would match the inside of my truck bed. Now it was time for a final fitting. I was getting some lid interference from the strut and some of the attachments for the bed cover. So I had to do some cutting on the lid for the toolbox to get it to clear some of the attachment points for the bed cover. I bolted the toolbox to the bed cover attachment points. That will make it easy for me to be able to unbolt the box and remove the box if I need to. I didn't put a lock on the top of it because my bed cover locks already. I didn't need another lock. And now comes the test. I wasn't sure that this box would be roomy enough to carry all the things that I wanted to carry in the toolbox. All of this equipment that's on the tailgate was once inside that tub and all of it will fit inside this toolbox. It cost me about $125 to make each toolbox. That includes all the metal, the pop rivets, the Herculiner, all of it. And now that it's all in there, I can remove this tub that takes up so much space and all of the equipment is in that toolbox. I'm also gonna make another toolbox for the other side of the bed as well. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something. I've got lots more to come.